everyone. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, there's some interesting news that I wanted to go over quickly today with all of you. Um, I was going to mention this in my last video. However, I didn't want to make it too long. So um, I thought I would just save it for this video. So this was in Oklahoma. Um, some of you guys may have seen it. And it was actually on Thursday of last week, January 20th. I'm just going to read it quickly and then I will link it down below. It says, on Thursday, January 20th, Oklahoma State Representative introduced legislation that would enable the state treasurer to protect Sooner State funds from inflation and finan financial risk by holding physical and gold silver. Introduced by State Representative Sean Roberts, um, HB 3681 would include physical gold and silver owned directly to the list of permissible investments the state treasurer can hold, investing in low-yield dollar-denominated debt instruments. Um, so basic, I'm not going to read it all. So basically, Oklahoma is to consider holding gold and silver and removing income tax. And that is a really great article. It's going to be linked down below. So a lot of interesting um, stuff going on. This is why I um, stack precious metals. I do coin collect, and so I mean, I do have some that are, you know, way over the value of the actual coin. And of course, I have just regular constitutional silvers. I have, you know, I, it's just diversified between gold, silver. Um, I don't do cryptos. I mentioned that, or Bitcoin in the last video. So we have that article going on. That's going to be in down below. This one, um, it, it's the, the article is called Gun Safety Through Mandatory Arms Insurance. It says, Gun Safety Through Mandatory Arms Insurance. It says, We can fix the gun problem and make America safer without an extensive, dangerous, and futile war on guns. To solve the problem of keeping guns out of the wrong hands, we must use an idea that limits losses from any other hazardous insurance. Mandatory insurance makes people be responsible for choices that impose risk on others. Hmm. We must require gun owners at any instant, maker, seller, or buyer, have liability insurance, just like your car insurance, to cover any harms that weapon causes, right? And it's kind of more bizarre. Insurance payouts would go to the crime victims. And we all know how crime is going, right? They're protecting the criminals and um, doing nothing for the victim. Someone breaks in your house and, well, you have to bang, bang. Um, oh, what does that even mean? Your insurance is going to uh, go up and you're going to and that money is going to go to pay the person that was trying to kill you or rob you. I mean, I'm just going to link it down below because I think it's I think it's absurd. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping that doesn't that doesn't stick. My ammunition. So I vacuum sell it, and not all of it because I just have way too much. But like stuff that I'm going to carry in my um, bio bag, I will put it in. I will put it uh, a vacuum cell it. And that's why it's water you know, proof. It's protected from any, you know. Ammunition will last a very long time. You just have to keep it stored in a cold, preferably dark place and just away from water or, or moisture. So this is just the way that I do it right here. Buckle up for that because it's gonna get interesting. I do think we're on the verge of going to Russia and Ukraine going to war, whether we're going to step in, it's not looking good. Um, we have a lot of serious problems. We have the truck drivers that are, you know, protesting right now in Canada. That is going to affect our supply chain, um, all of our, you know, our goods that we're receiving. So when we, when you think of food shortages, I think it's only going to get worse. And I say that with all honesty because we're already seeing shortages, and now we have the you know the mandates for the truck drivers that can't come across the border. However, if you are an illegal, you can come across the border, no vaccine required. But to get items that we need, like food and supplies and stuff, you <laughs> they need to show proof of being vaccinated. So I'm telling everybody, you really need to get your food. You need to get water, you need to get medical, you need to stack ammunition, um, you need to 
have a network of people that you can, you know, really trust a community. You need to be in a rural area. I think we are starting to see, I used to say we're starting to see things escalate on a weekly. And then it became from a weekly to a daily. And now from daily, we're seeing it escalate almost by the hour. Like every, every time you, you know, the news comes on, it's something else and something else. Um, I have read a lot of interesting news at NutriTruth.org and you can go through there and there's some things on the hokey pokey um, that you know really explains it. I sent it to myself just in case I thought I would do a specific rumble video on that. Um, the title, if I can try to get around it, says plan to as many people as possible under guise of revealed a new cryptocurrency. It's a very insightful and interesting article. So um, that will link it down below or just NutriTruth.org and read it. It's, it's, I would recommend reading it. It's a very good read. So I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet today. Um, I know everybody's got things they gotta get done. I just wanted to read those couple articles and just, you know, not like beating a dead horse, get food, ammunition, water, whatever you're still short on, you know, keep doing what you can do. Um, so I want to uh, a shout out to Revert to Means, um, great channel, and his link will be down below. Covers mostly, you know, economy, finances, all that good stuff. Really great person, um, very nice and his information will be linked down below. Everybody, a wonderful rest of your day. Please stay safe, please take care. Um, you know, get the, the food, the water. It's even if you have extra food and you have extra water and medical, if nothing happens, so you have some extra food and water, right? But, you know, just, we're all, we're all seeing the signs. It's, and we're going from really dire, days ahead, like really dark days ahead. And we need to be taking the time that we're still able to get stuff and just just do what you can. You know, I, I know some people are really struggling right now uh, financially and it's it's hard to, to buy extra, st it's hard to buy extra stuff. I understand that. But please just do what you can. Um, you can always like, if you have things that you don't use or need, you can always list those and sell those. Macari is a good, uh, a good website to use to sell things. Um, you know, just just try to you know do what you can because times are very serious. So with that, I wish everyone well and be safe and God bless you. Okay, welcome back. So I am just vacuum sealing some of my ammunition. It is the uh, five five six. And I just put it into here, like so. Ammunition will keep pretty much indefinitely as long as it's stored right, just like just like this. And then I'm going to put it into the vacuum seal bag. These are good to keep in your bug out bag. I use oxygen absorber. Pop that baby in there. And then and then we're just going to hit dry. <laughs> this down. Alright, so I have them in there, both sides, just like that. I trimmed it down. Place it in there. So 
then I cut out the um, what it is and I'll put it right there just like that so I know easy peasy and like I said ammunition will keep a very long time just keep it in a dark place keep it um, away from water and uh, you're good your bug out bag you know keep it because we don't know if we're gonna be able to get ammunition Could be shortages who knows <laughs> with all the you know all the uh, supply shortages so you want to protect what you got so thanks everybody for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day bye bye now